and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hello everyone, Drum Tech Drummer and YouTube Educator Kenny Sherritt's coming to you with a quick discussion about the latest addition to my snare family, which is the Rogers Dynasonic 5 inch by 14 inch maple shell snare drum. Now if you see my video on my 6.5 inch beaver tail uh, Dynasonic snare drum, then you know not only how much I love it, but you also know what it's made up of, how it sounds, and some great tuning intervals to use on that drum. And so I figured today, since this is my first time in the studio with it, I'd go ahead and give some tuning intervals for those of you who have this drum or are thinking about buying this drum, and you gotta see the characteristics, and it's also gonna be a great opportunity for me to shoot another topic on this drum, tuned as it is. Because this is the one I wanted, this is the one they sent me, it's been played a little bit, and so I figured I'd start it up, dust it up to a perfect fifth from kind of where it was, from people who love Rogers, who play Rogers, who actually demoed this drum. So I figured I'd start Start there with the stock single ply head on. We ain't messing around. So we're gonna start with this right here, take it up and give you some intervals to check it out. So let's see what this drum gives us. Wide open, no muffling, single ply head where they tuned it. All right, so I got the snare position. Like I said, no muffling. I've got it tuned to a B to an F sharp. The head's kind of where they had left it. They had it fat and soupy. So let's see what this sounds like. Literally, no muffling. Let's just see what the Dynasonic gives us. Oh my God, listen to the tone on that drum. Again, no muffling, single ply head, about as classic and traditional a Rogers sound as you could get. Feels great, sounds great. It's gonna be perfect for the video I'm doing about five inch and five and a half inch deep snare drums tuned super fat to get cracked and fat back in the studio. Heck, that's the video right there. So, <laughs> So let's go ahead and tune this thing up and see what kind of other tuning intervals we can use at different tensions so that people who may think about buying this drum, want to own this drum, or do own this drum, get an idea of what this bad boy can do. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.